Hey guys, Jim here coming in today with another video. I wanted to do a response video for Jake the Ticket Leprechaun. Jake is doing a contest and he was asking us to show our card rooms. And Jake actually showed his card room, which was pretty amazing. And um, this was a tough one for me because my card room is quite the work in progress. Um, and I'm not a very organized and creative guy. So um, like, like Jake showed his card room and it was absolutely amazing. I saw some other video responses for the contest as well. And um, Mike Armstrong, Lou Rock TV and uh, Jay um, Terry, uh, TJ Mac Vintage, come to mind off the top of my head who all had incredible card rooms and mine is not going to be that. So um, just wanna say Jake, he's an awesome guy, a great member of the community here on YouTube and even better than that, he is a very upstanding young man. That is obvious. And so I want to show my support for him by doing this response video. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys my room here. Okay, so when you come in the room, first off here is what you guys typically see when I'm doing my videos. This is where I sort my cards and go through stuff, do my videos. Here on the end, I have cards that I've been, different things that I've been going through that I need to sort out and put away. Um, this is all most of the stuff you guys see. We've got the 1918 Red Sox World Champion team photo. There's the babe right there. There's an oversized Nomar card. What year is that? It looks like it's a 99. 99. Beckett basketball monthly from 1991 with Larry Bird. Over here I have a 1940s postcard of Fenway Park. Back there is a plaque with the boys from Boston, Bobby Orr, Ted Williams, and Larry Bird. And there's a card from each one of them down there. I have a card here from Shannon Ham, the Shannon Ham rookie card, autographed. A couple stickers. There's an 04 American League Champions team, team photo. Another very nice photo with Ted Williams. Uh, a couple of uh, Mini Minoso cards and uh, Pee Wee Reese Redman card, just cards that I stuck there because I liked them. There is my Jim Lonborg autograph photo that I got from Dustin and Blake. Very nice Pedro Martinez photo, Kali Yastrzemski photo. We've got some other very nice premiums and um, team photos there. Got my Red Sox bank, couple more stickers. There's my Ted Williams exhibit. There's another Beckett Basketball Monthly from 1992 with Larry Bird on the front. Here we have a TV guide from, I'm not sure of the year, but Nomar's on there. There's a very nice vintage baseball catcher's mitt. There's an old Wheaties box with Mark McGuire on it behind there, but there's my Buck Leonard autographed. Hall of Fame postcard. There is my Kalia Stremski puzzle that I got from uh, Frank M. TTM. And there is the Kurt Schilling photo with the bloody sock. Shout out to uh, Elite Hunters, James. He was just telling me how much he really appreciated that effort that Schilling put in there with that bloody sock. So there's that. Over here to the right, I have some notes that I got from fellow YouTubers hanging on the wall there. Over by this window, there's a license plate that my dad had on one of his antique cars years ago. 
the Patriot sign is a mini bat from 1986 American League Champions. That's a license plate that my father-in-law had on his car years ago, back in 1979. There's a Pinewood Derby car I made when I was in Cub Scouts, long, long time ago. There's a little Red Sox Coca-Cola decoration. Spinning around this way, I got my printer here. There's my, my junior high school basketball patch. An old vintage youth football helmet. Uh, I'm guessing from the 60s, not really sure. I found that at an antique shop, thought it was pretty cool. So just sit that over there. And so spinning it around here, this is where I pretty much keep most of my stuff. Although I do have probably about I don't know, 15 or 20 more 800 count boxes of cards that are not on the shelf that are in another room. But um, up on top here, um, in the back, I've got sets, um, complete sets, all the way from 1980, all the way up to current, um, not every year, they're missing, a number of years are missing. Oh, sorry, Yankee fans. I got that there. Nothing personal. On this shelf, I've got my binders. I've got yearbooks. I've got um, Red Sox yearbooks. I've got every yearbook from the early 50s right up until current, current times. And here, these are pretty cool. I should show those someday in a video. Uh, a bunch of random cards in these binders, a lot of them from when I was a kid. There's um, Atlantic Richfield Premiums here, Red Sox from 1969, Red Sox team cards. Um, here I've got this, which is pretty cool. Oh, these are cool. You guys remember these? These were um, the discs from, Slurpee discs from... 7-Eleven years ago you go buy a Slurpee and you'd get these discs that one of these discs would be on the bottom those are pretty neat and these are what the backs look like on them because you can see 7-Eleven those are 1984 so that's pretty cool uh, this is really nice Oops. This is a 1969 100th anniversary of professional baseball limited edition collector's portfolio. And these have some really nice, there's the actual original uh, offer that came with it. And so these have some really nice photos in them. George Scott. I like this. I like this album. There's Yaz. Look how young he was. And Reggie Smith. Very cool. I enjoy looking through that. Uh, just random stuff in here. These these binders have random things in them. This is a 1982 top sticker set. Complete set. Got the gold foils, the silver foils, and then the, the cards are in there. What else do we have? We got all my unopened stuff here. Uh, most of it, I do have a few other things um, in another area, but this is all unopened stuff here. All through here. Then down here, I've just got boxes and boxes of cards. Here's the Beckett magazine that I keep handy. It's the um, the Mike Payne Top 80 of the 80s uh, Beckett issue that brought the idea for the Top 100 of the 80s PSA set registry. Um, up top here, these boxes are all basically Hall of Famers that are in top loaders that are all separated by teams all in alphabetical order, so that's all those. 
in the front there. Then down here, these are all my slabs. In these boxes that I have separated alphabetically by player's last name. So you can see in there, that's basically how I have those set up. And then I've got more random boxes of stuff. There's stars, commons, all years, you name it. Um, down here, I've got some photos, autograph stuff. Aaron Seeley, Adam Oates, Lee Smith, Jim Lomborg, Bob Feller, all autograph photos. There's a Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, um, George Brett. That's pretty cool advertising thing. I, they stuck it in the uh, six packs of bottles, I believe. So this part would have stuck down into the six pack of bottles and this would have stuck up. And then there's a, the disc actually, I guess you were supposed to really just pop the disc out and then throw the other, other part away and there's a t-shirt off of there, whatever. So then there's some more stuff here, Bob Feller, um, just some more photos, Big Poppy, um, another premium set. Uh, I forgot what year this was from, but that's uh, the team set. And then there's a photo there of uh, Dice K, Matsuzaka, and... Uh, Koji Uara, I believe. Could be wrong about that. One of them is Dice K. I forget who the other guy is. Anyway, um, just random random sets of stuff down here. Uh, KB Toys. This is a Joe DiMaggio uh, limited edition tin with a 50 card set. I'm sorry, a 30 card set. There's all kinds of just random stuff in here. Um, 1993 Flare Ultra. Performers, ultra performers, uh, some kind of an insert set or something. KB Toys. Um, these are cool Diamond Classics sets. Those are really nice. I should show them someday. Um, Drake's, Drake's Big Hitters. Uh, another Drake set. Kmart sets in there. There's uh, Draft Picks. 1991 draft picks classic draft picks i guess i don't know first row i'm not really sure they were never open back there i've got just some more random stuff there's a 1993 classic basketball draft set there's a 1991 pacific pro soccer set here's a pretty cool this is a complete set of 1976 wonder bread football cards got the complete set there that's pretty sweet just other random stuff in here there's a bunch of supplies here top loaders um, graded card bags more random stuff over here there's a uh, mickey mouse uh, clock that i had when i was a kid that is just kind of sitting there. I, it still works actually, but I don't have to plug in. More randomness over here. There's stamps. A whole sheet of Babe Ruth stamps. So that's pretty cool. Just random stuff. Um, over here, empty boxes underneath. Over here, there's, these are all commons, mostly. Um, just common 89, 89 Flare, 89 Dunruss, 87 Tops, and 90 Tops. Just, I don't know, I just got to do something with that stuff. I don't really know what. I got a couple of things I stuck into here. 90 Classic Board Game. Another Classic Board Game, same year, different design. Don't really even know what this is. Something that was issued by score. 91, 92 baseball, 100 hottest rookies, it says. And over here, I have just a ton of random stuff that I need to go through. There's yearbooks, there's this Red Sox team photo from 86. 
1992 schedule Red Sox some old different cards there Don Zimmer that's pretty cool here is a Chicago Tribune from Monday June 15th 1998 the joy of six is Jordan and Phil Jackson hugging it out after they won their sixth NBA title that has never been opened so that is in awesome condition it's just a beat up photo of Jim Rice this is a cool um, this is actually a poster it opens up I'm not gonna open it up but it opens up this was from Yaz Day as it says Fenway Park October 1st 1983 this is a cool Larry Bird Sitco and Dennis Johnson this is an advertisement from the movie Bull Durham remember that remember that movie I'm sure you guys remember it that's an advertisement for it here's a, a 1983 Boston Celtics calendar yeah, you open it up there's Kevin McHale and then it's got the calendar and the schedules right on the calendar so you can see you know what they're doing that day Nate, tiny Archibald this is pretty cool his bird nice photo so these are pretty awesome here is a sporting news from February 16th 1955 just pretty cool like to uh, um, I've actually read through this look at the the old cigarette Chesterfield advertisement on the back look at this they got a an article here and they show a picture of the reporter he's got a cigarette hanging out of his mouth <laughs> that was the old days guys oh, here we have a bunch of Sports Illustrated's Lord of the K's is Roger Clemens here's the Ripkins just random stuff I need to go through all these magazines there's all kinds of stuff magazines yearbooks you name it it's here back it just random stuff there's a photo of Jimi Hendrix got some motorcycle magazines and handgun magazines in there there's a bunch of vintage postcards from the turn of the century these are like from 1900 to 1915 all these postcards that I have which I don't collect these but I have them because I picked them up somewhere and I'm assuming that people collect these so I'd like to find a good home for these at some point well, I got this which is all beat up because I had it displayed in a room near a window at one point in my life and it's all yellow and breaking the plastics all brittle and falling apart but it's a pitch like a pitch like a pro with Roger Clemens instructional baseball and booklet so I guess the booklets in there and then it's got the ball with the different places that you hold your fingers and learn how to throw throw like the rocket in here I have magazines uh, I'm sorry comic books that uh, I've had since probably I was a teenager and that's about it and just random stuff these are these old uh, pinnacle there's baseball cards inside the can these are all unopened they still got the cards in them Scott Rowland that was Tony Gwynn and this is a an all-star one I believe a home run heroes so there's McGuire Griffey I don't know that oh Albert Bell Canseco Sammy Sosa and um, Greg Vaughn on there and then this one is Home Run Heroes Griffey Jr. And that's about it. A couple of tops tins. And that's it guys. That is my that's my room. Sorry it was so long. But that's what I got. Thanks for watching and bye for now.